And he said, hey, you want to try out one of our seats instead of uh, the marshmallow you got on your bike? reshape this stock seat. I'm looking for a different kind of seat for the track that's a little bit flatter so I can kind of fall off of it a little bit better. I've already got my really nice touring seat on the bike and I don't really want to spend another four or five hundred bucks on a separate seat just for the track. So what I'm going to do is take the cover off this seat, try to shave some of the foam down, make it a little bit thinner, make it flatter in the back, see what we can do about it. And if we can, I'm going to try and reuse the stock cover. If we can't, then we'll order some vinyl off Amazon or something like that, see what we can do. We're going to pop out some of the staples, all that kind of stuff, and shape it up. Let's go. I started off by ripping out all the staples in the stock seat, and there were a lot of them. So I just kept going, finally got the cover off. I started carving up the seat with a regular knife, and I tried to use a Dremel to kind of carve it out. But both of those methods weren't really working, so I tried... To get a hot knife, I ordered it on Amazon, and that didn't work either. It wasn't at all what I thought it would be. Only the tip got hot. You can kind of see my confusion in the video trying to cut it like a knife. So I finally got smart, and I bought an electric carving knife, and this really changed the game on carving up the foam. If you're gonna cut foam, this is what you need for sure. Way better than a regular knife, or a Dremel, or trying to sand it, or anything like that. Look how well it cuts through this foam. So well, in fact, that I kind of got carried away and I cut all the way down to the plastic. And I didn't know how to go back from that. So I cut the whole foam off and I went to Joann's, bought some new foam. And then I started laying that down instead. Once I had it on there, I just kind of sticky tacked it with some spray glue. I drew some lines around it, started carving the foam around the seat pan to get a better fit. That was the best way I could think of it. And then I took my carving knife again and started cutting through it. This carving knife really is the way to cut foam. And it was only about 14 bucks at Walmart. Just shaping it up a little bit. I was finally comfortable with the way the foam was shaped and the direction I was going. So I started stapling on my white vinyl. The stock cover wasn't gonna work because I cut so much off and had to relay that other foam. So I bought this vinyl at Joann's again, the same place I bought the foam. And I just started stapling it down around the seat, kind of stretching it. There's a lot of extra fabric. I just cut the vinyl to like a rectangular pattern before I laid it down on the seat. Just like roughly measured it, tried to make it a little oversized so I had enough room. And I just went around stapling it and stapling it and stapling it and stretching and stapling and stretching and stapling over and over until I had the whole 360 degree area of the seat stapled down. Here I'm trimming the back, trying to get it around the seat screw. Then I started trimming up all the extra fabric. There was a lot going on here, so I just cut off the excess. And at this point, it was kind of time to check it out and see what it looked like on the bike. And I put it right back onto the workbench. It was not ready at all. I had done a pretty rough job. So I started taking out staples again. This time I stole my wife's hair dryer and I started heating it up, stretching the vinyl even more, restapling, and I was working in smaller sections this time. So I think that really helped, really focusing on certain spots, stretching it, pulling it, stapling it down really tight and working slowly around the whole seat. You can see it's finally starting to take the shape of the nose there. Just hitting it with the blow dryer till it's hot. And I'm sure a heat gun would be a lot better too. Trimming it up. I cut those little slits in all the fabric there to really pull it tight and it turned out a lot better. But I'll tell you what, I now know why those seats are four to $500. This is not easy. I don't want to do it again. But after two weeks, I give to you my custom racing seat. So we loaded up the bike in the trailer, headed to Chuckwalla Valley. And this is kind of where the story changes a little bit. 
I was there and I was ready to hit the track with my new custom receipt, or as the VP of Saddlemen started calling it, the Big Marshmallow. I was hanging out by their booth, trackside, and he walked up to me and he said, hey, you wanna try out one of our seats instead of uh, the marshmallow you got on your bike? So I quickly took that seat, ran away as fast as I could before he changed his mind and put it on my bike to try it out and see how it would go. And I went and hit the track with it. seat that I'd spent two to three weeks working on because by the end of the day Saddleman had given me that seat. So the next time I was loading it up in the trailer it was headed home with a Saddleman seat.